Look, all my Peak Design mobile stuff showed up. I put a $300 order in October 2021 and it was all shipped to me in a piecemeal fashion with the last product showing up a few weeks ago. Now, is this system any good? Out of all the accessories I've gotten, there's only one combination of case and accessory that blew my socks off. For the rest of this video, Val and I are going to review the design, protection, and functionality of Peak's everyday cases as well as their slim link accessories. And then we're going to end off this video with a truth bomb about this product. Dun dun dun. Now, when it comes to design, we'll be honest with you, the lack of bulk is surprising given the modularity of the case. Modular case manufacturers like Rockform and Quadlock have cases that are either very bulky or have a hub on the back of the case. The Peak Design Everyday Case has the profile of a normal iPhone case, but it has a thing called SlimLink, which is basically a square cutout on the back of the case. The only thing protecting the backs of the iPhone is actually just a thin piece of fabric, but this shouldn't be a problem. This allows Peak to keep the backside of the case around 2.2 millimeters thick, which is very, very impressive. We'll dive into the SlimLink and the other accessories later on in this video. The build quality of the case is top notch and that's the general expectation from Peak as the seams on the case are barely noticeable and the finish on the case edge is not abrasive and aggressive, it's just enough. It works very well. However, the back of the case is quite slick and will slide around easily. Now, Peak does say that this product is compatible with MagSafe, though Peak doesn't follow Apple's recommended placement of magnets on the case. Peak uses four large magnets instead of the ring of small magnets, which is kind of odd. Now, it generally works with all the MagSafe accessories that we have, but we've used enough MagSafe accessories over the last couple of years to know it doesn't quite feel the same, though we haven't had any, we'll say, technical issues with the everyday case and all the MagSafe accessories that we have. As a side note, the magnetic strength on the finger loop isn't as strong as the normal case, mostly because it's missing the lower set of magnets. There's a magnet for the finger loop to keep it flush with the back of the case, but it's too low to do anything for MagSafe, so do keep that in mind. In general, at $40, the case by itself is really nothing special. Don't get this product if all you're doing is planning on getting the case. Only get this case if you're planning on getting some of the accessories. And we're going to tell you which ones are worth getting in a bit. Now, for me personally, I've got a $100 screen protector on my iPhone 13 Pro Max that doesn't really fit the everyday case. This is a sapphire screen protector from Shellris, and the everyday case, I just push the screen protector off my iPhone. So for me personally, if I had to choose between the two, I'm going to go stick with my screen protector and not this case. For protection, the everyday case isn't really rated to anything. It's a single layered polycarbonate case, so it might be able to handle the occasional drop. And given the slim link system where you can mount it on a bike, we're mildly concerned about the health of your iPhone if it falls off the mount. If if it falls off. Probably won't, but if. For screen protection, with a screen protector, there's barely enough clearance for a credit card, which isn't better than nothing, but that clearance pales in comparison to something like the Rockform case. The buttons on the case are a little tough to use and lack the click of the iPhone's buttons. We had no issue with the screen access with the low edges, and the cutouts at the bottom of the case didn't hamper any sound or port access. The mute switch cutout is a bit small, but still usable without having to pick at it. So the special sauce behind this case is Peak Designs slim lock. It's basically a small embedded square where the edges are reverse tapered on the back of the case. The securest, if that's actually a word, Peak Design accessory will attach both magnetically and mechanically to the cutout. Unlike the quad lock and rock form product lines, there isn't any twisting required to mount your device. You just press the iPhone onto the pad and the two latches click into the square. To remove, you just have to press one of the two buttons on the accessories that we have, which is very, very handy. The second type of mounting system is just magnetic. The car desk and wallets use this form of attachment. For a car mount, it has four magnets on the corner as well as the ring magnets that are similar to the MagSafe magnets, but don't actually look like MagSafe magnets. And when it comes to notable accessories, the wallet coupled with the Peak Design Everyday Case is absolutely killer. It is one of the best wallet accessories that we've used. It has a higher than average card capacity at four plus. Card access is easy as the flap pulls the cards out for you. And there's a hinge that allows you for an easy portrait or landscape setup. The hinge also makes it easier for you to hold your iPhone as well. And honestly, being able to set your iPhone down in landscape mode while watching a video and still be able to see the video is an iPhone quality of life improvement that I didn't think we need, but we definitely do. Now, there are a couple of downsides to this wallet accessory. It is spectacular with the everyday case, specifically the everyday case, not the loop one. It's also not great with any other cases. Why? Because the magnet comes off quite easily. On the everyday loop case, it's missing the lower part of the MagSafe magnet, so the wallet rotates easily. Now, as flat as the loop sits on the back of the case, it's still raised a bit, so the magnets and the accessory, they just, they don't line up 
We'll do a deep dive on the everyday loop case in a minute. The only other downside that we've noticed is that the finish on the wallet is a bit lacking as it does show scuffing quite easily. The only thing that would make this accessory even better, well, being able to charge your iPhone through the back plate of the wallet. Sure, you could sandwich the charger between the wallet and the iPhone, but it's just not as stable. Honestly, if they were able to do this, this would just be so amazing. The other notable accessory is the tripod accessory. The tripod folds up easily into something that you can keep in your own pockets. And honestly, if you've been traveling around the last few years with a small Joby tripod, this tripod accessory can easily replace that. It's just so incredibly handy and very minimal. You can mount your iPhone in both landscape and portrait modes and it's basically a tiny ball head tripod that offers from my perspective more freedom than my tiny Joby head tripods. All right, so after all that. Truth bomb time? Not yet. Drink time. Ooh, drink. Not oysters though, right? Please. <laughs> Pretty sure there's an oyster in there. What is it? So this is a Caesar oyster shot. So go check out the uh, other channel for the full procedure, we'll say, but. I hate Caesars. Like probably my least favorite drink in the world. Was it good? Oh my God, if you didn't like it, I'm gonna, I might throw up. Wasn't as fresh as last week's. As fresh? So what did it taste like? Well, try it. I, I might need a minute. Can, Again. can I have a minute? Can I just take a minute to <clears throat> mentally prepare for this? So with everything said in the last few minutes, this loop case, I do have to say, is incredibly uncomfortable. So the fact that it doesn't work well with some of the accessories because it doesn't sit flat, um, it's missing a magnet at the bottom and you add like it's borderline better than the uh, guillotine that Quadlock sells. So that's kind of where my thoughts go with the loop case. If you're going to get it and get the everyday uh, case over loop one, what did you like? I know you liked something and liked. I loved the case. So I actually didn't use the loop one and I get that it's uncomfortable. Um, but this, the wallet with the case is honestly my favorite. Like it just works so well. And I feel like it, it's really convenient right now because every time I need to like show my ID and my QR code, everything's in one spot and it's perfect. And it does stuff like this and then you can pick it up like this. Yeah. You'll be watching stuff and it's just, the wallet case thing is just awesome. I do agree. But, 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 but truth bomb time is that Apple doesn't like cases with really strong magnets. And how strong are the magnets on this thing? You can see them through the front of the iPhone. And so strong magnets really mess around with the internals of the iPhone. And so when you've got something that is peering through the front, if I was to take the case off, you wouldn't actually be able to see the MagSafe magnets on the front of the case. Even if I was to take a Apple leather case, the, uh, you want to do it? No. <laughs> you don't see the magnets on the front of the case. And so I haven't been able to pick out uh, a big difference. And I'm particularly worried about stuff like the OIS being affected by the um, strong magnets. So that's kind of the truth bomb that I have is that if you are very concerned about protecting your like the iPhone, which costs more than a computer. Keep that in the back of your mind. So that's kind of all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. We're going to be doing some other modular case um, reviews like uh, Magback. I think we've got the stuff from Mouse coming. So it should all be good. I keep thinking about this shot and I'm like very nervous for it, but. <laughs> get your stuff through our Amazon links. I don't care what you get. You can just, even if you're just buying, I don't know, diapers, just use my link and then just go surf for diapers. It just helps us out. This channel is unsponsored. All this stuff paid money for and waited for it to show up in like four different packages. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms and you can support us through Patreon as well. Did you squeeze the lime or did you I have it after? It I took it in. Before or after? Yeah. I don't know. I usually take it before. Okay, I'm gonna taste it first. 
I can't. I'm, I can't do that just shot thing right away. That's not bad. Might have helped if it was a little colder though. <laughs> a warm shot of oyster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it Yum. came out of the fridge. <laughs> Everything else was refrigerated. <laughs> Mine's not. <laughs> a non-fresh, warm oyster. This is gonna be great, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Why do I do this? Thanks for watching.